not great teams. I, I mean, there's there's kind of no way around it here, but I, I'm very curious what's the matchup that matters here for you, Carmen? Uh, it has to be Ramondre Stevenson against the Tennessee run defense. Um, Ramondre Stevenson, 104 rushes, 422 yards, five touchdowns. He is the Patriots offense at this point. Um, and then when you contrast that with how Tennessee fares against the run, they've got a 62.0 PFF grade, which ranks 21st. But they're kind of a bit of a contradiction because they rank 10th in EPA per rush allowed. So I like, I, I don't really know what to make of them. It seems as though, you know, they're, they're minimizing the damage, but they're not doing it terribly prettily um, or terribly beautifully, whatever you want to call it. I, I just don't trust, I don't trust many things about either of these teams, but I do trust Ramondre Stevenson um, because of the fact that, yeah, like he's just, he's, he's quarterback proof. He uh, seems to figure out ways to be productive behind the offensive line. And he is the, the Patriots offense at this point. So he's the one you need to worry about when it comes to playing the new England. Yeah. Obviously I think that Drake may obviously means a lot in this one. He's, he's going through concussion yeah. protocol, but uh, Jared Mayo said that he was going to be limited at practice. So he looks like he's got a chance to play in this game. And if he does, obviously I think that that raises the ceiling of what the Patriots offense can be. We've certainly seen yeah. that at times with him through his first couple of starts here, especially on the ground uh, last week before he we went out with that concussion, he had an elite rushing grade. Now I know it was only three carries, but it was enough. I mean, they, they were able to play um, really well in that game when, when, when he was able to, to rush the football pretty well. And you know, Ramondre struggled a little bit last week, but still, you know, they're giving him 20 carries. So very right. clearly they're just going to want to run their offense through him. But man, you look at how much these teams have been struggling yards per play this season. Patriots 4.4. It's 30th in the NFL Titans 4.7. That's 28th plays gaining plays gaining 20 or more yards. Patriots 31st in the NFL Titans 29th. And that's why I think that Drake may is, is really the, the big matchup that matters here. And his presence can really swing things because he at least gives the Patriots some explosive options here in the run game and the pass game, as we saw last week. So to me, he's a big time matchup that, that they really need there. Um, and then I, I think that, yeah, when you look at sort of who really needs to stand out, I, I would love for Jalen Polk to be able to stand out, man. Mm. I really would. I think that yeah. the, the, he is somebody who needs to step up big time for this team. He's had a really disappointing, um, I think, start to his rookie career. And no matter who is out there, I, I feel like Polk has got to be um, the guy that matters most for them. But who's your plus factor in this game? Um, it's not a who, it's a what. And it's third down on both sides because on crucial downs, neither of these teams have been terribly effective. New England ranks 24th and third and fourth down conversion percentage. Um, allowed, and then they rank 23rd in scoring drive percentage, allowed. And then you look at what Tennessee is able to do. They are 30.59% on third down, a conversion rate on third down, which is 31st in the league. They have the 30th ranked offense. And you would think that that means that they can't stay on the field, but somehow Tennessee is fourth in time of possession average. And I don't really understand how that works. I understand that you're trying, like they, they don't have explosive plays. So they're just kind of dinking and dunking their way down the field or, you know, their plays aren't going uh, incredibly far, but that usually means that they're not converting then. Um, I, it, 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 they're just kind of a conundrum of a team. The Tennessee Titans are averaging the fifth, fifth fewest points per game, which is 17.1. So which of these teams can stay on the field? Which of these teams can control the clock? Which of these teams can be the most productive on offense? You know, Breaking analysis here, whoever scores more points is going to win the game. And whoever can, uh, I think it's going to depend again on who can stay on the field, who can who can convert those third downs and 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 continue drives.